Hey! It's time for another random episode of What's on My Workbench. Got a few things to show you. Picked up a Google Nexus 4 phone today. 16 gigabyte. And I've got a cool little charger for it. It's a Panasonic key charger. QI, I think that's how you say it. Here's the phone. It's beautiful. Here's the charger right here. It's a wireless charger. You put the phone on the charger and there you go. You can see it wirelessly charges. It's kind of a geek, a geek's dream charger. It's got all the cool LEDs on it. One of the other things I recently picked up was the 16 millimeter lens for the NEX5. When I was doing the F, the um, the aerial video, I was using the 18 to 55 lens, which is really heavy. It's probably around 200 and I don't know, 20, 250 grams. This uh, 16 millimeter lens is this, I think, about 60 grams. So a huge difference in weight, and I uh, I'm looking forward to getting this on the gimbal again and doing some more aerial video. And finally. What's this we have here? It's a project I've been working on for a while, but I've actually made a lot of progress on it over the last uh, week or so. This is the latest 3D printer I've been working on. It's a Brute. It's going to have a build volume of 300 by 300 by 300 millimeters. I've got the X and the Z carriage done here. I'll show you what I've got. It uses, uh, it's hard to get it in the picture, it's so massive. It uses linear slides right here. The extruder will come through here and I've got all the pieces printed out and ready to go for this part. 12 millimeter hardened steel shafts to slide up and down on. 3 8 inch Acme 3 8 by 12 Acme screws and <clears throat> if you can see the other side here got a custom pulley I made on the lathe and custom mount I made on the 3D printer for the extruder, the extruder, geared extruder step the MG style will just fit through here and then I, I made a custom uh, extruder uh, head part for there um, this is that um, really good quality belt. So the way it's going to work is this piece is right here and it's going to ride up and down on the 12 millimeter shafts, hardened steel shafts. Now right here I'm going to have a clamp. This is a four inch aluminum tube. Right here I'm going to have a clamp that holds the steel shaft at the bottom and a clamp that holds it at the top. The um, stepper motors are going to be inside here inside the tube for the Z axis and for the X axis I don't have it in in this picture but one of the, the stepper motor for the X axis will be in here too. What I'm going to have is a couple of um, the the um, linear bearings on either side here for the rods to go through so the rods will move with the table and the bearings will be fixed on either side of the four millimeter tube. It's actually a really solid and it should get me a really solid square um, platform for the printer so I'm going to be working on that over the Christmas break here so stay tuned for more videos of progress on the 3D printer. Have a good holiday everyone.